Howdy, this is Ranger Day with the State Wildlife Service. We're issuing a warning to citizens in the area that we've had a security breach in the monkey section of the game preserve and about 50 midget monkeys have escaped. Currently, we managed to round up about, um, how many? None, none of them so far. But uh, we are working diligently to get all the midget monkeys in custody. Now, midget monkeys look like regular monkeys except that they're smaller on account of being midgets. Uh, they range in height from about 8 inches to about 12 or 13 inches tall. The female is usually on the smaller end of that height spectrum, and you can also tell if it's a female because it'll have uh, uh, the, the, the hairy boobies here. You know. right. If you're out and about in your daily life and you come upon a midget monkey, do not attempt to apprehend. I repeat, do not attempt to apprehend. These little some bitches have really bad attitudes and just horrible, horrible dispositions. They've been, they've been cooped up for a long time, and now they are tasting freedom, and it is sweet. We're asking all restaurants in the area to close down because we feel fairly certain that eating establishments are going to be a prime target of the midget monkeys. In fact, we know this to be the case because back at the game preserves, we found a tiny copy of some little plans they'd drawn up. They were written in feces, and, and it had been raining, but, um, but we were pretty confident we were able to translate them correctly. The reason that the midget monkeys are targeting restaurants is so that they can get their little monkey hands on those toothpicks that they keep around for which to clean your teeth with. Uh, these toothpicks are a perfect size for the midget monkeys to use as uh, little knives, you know. Now, you may not think that a toothpick is a formidable weapon, but let me tell you folks, in the hands of a pissed off midget monkey, it can do a lot of damage. Most of these midget monkeys have got a lot of rage, a lot of inner fury. I've heard their screams at night, and it has caused me to lose control of my bladder on more than one occasion. In fact, one night I was so scared, I made a double batch of fudge in my drawers. I'm not ashamed of that. I'm just telling you the facts. What I suggest is you go to your local home improvement store and get some aluminum or something, and fashion it into some sort of cylindrical device with which you can wear around your lower legs. Uh, you know, kind of protect you against an onslaught of midget monkey toothpick stabbings, you know. Now hopefully this will keep you safe until we round these little hairy pecker heads up. Our biggest fear is that they'll start to team up and one will ride on the other one's shoulders. If that happens, they might be able to toothpick stab you above your self-made cylindrical aluminum device. That's bad news. These little cock knockers get you in the back of the knee, you're going down. And once you go down, they'll be all over you like, uh, like, uh, like, fucking, like fucking midget monkeys on a human that's about to die a very painful death. And I tell you what, if you're lucky, they'll sodomize you after you're dead because, because you don't want them to sodomize you before you're dead. Now, now, you might think, well, how can a midget monkey sodomize me? They got those little hairy peckers, and you'd be right about that. But what they do is, once they get you down on the ground and they got you incapacitated, three or four of them will pick another one up on their shoulders, kind of freeze your cheek, kind of ram you in there, you know, in and out, in and out. And what happens is, a midget monkey... When he gets inside your rectum there, you get these little teeth. <laughs> you know, that's bad. That's some bad shit right there, you know. I, I swear you're going to wish you were dead if, if they don't wait for you to be dead before they start sodomizing you. So, lock your doors, people. Lock your doors. And if you see a midget monkey, call us on the 911. All right. This is Ranger Dave signing off now.